Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to set up the DEP enrollment in the Mobilog Pro dashboard. DEP is the device enrollment program offered by Apple. If you are buying devices from a DEP authorized reseller, then you can streamline the entire onboarding process by pre-registering the device on the Apple portal so that when the device is booted for the first time or if it is hard reset, then it will enroll automatically onto the Mobilock dashboard. But before you do that, the first step is to configure DEP on the Mobilock Pro dashboard. In order to do that, go ahead and log in to Mobilock dashboard. Once you are there, click on the EMM section and then click on the Apple. Navigate to the DEP tab. Here, the first step is to download the DEP key that Mobilock provides. You have to use this key and upload it to the Apple portal. But before we do that, let me download the Mobilock Pro DEP token. Remember the place where the DEP token has been downloaded. Click on next. At this step, you have to click on deploy.apple.com so that it will open the portal. When you are in the Apple portal, it will ask you for username and password. Go ahead and enter and click on sign in. It will also ask you for two-factor authentication if you have enabled two-factor authentication. I click on continue. I'm waiting for the two-factor authentication number. Once I have that number, I'll enter this here and I'll log in. Once the login succeeds, you will go back to your portal, the Apple portal, and you will see the two programs that I am currently enrolled, that is DEP and the Volume Purchase Program. Since we are trying to complete the DEP setup, I'll go ahead and click Get Started next to DEP. Here, in this page, I'll see the option to add an MDM server. Click on that. Give the name for the MDM server. At this case, it is Mobilock Pro. You can choose to automatically assign all the new devices that you're buying from the DEP reseller to this server so that you can just switch them on and they will boot into Mobilock MDM's server. When you click on next, it will ask you to upload the token file that you have just downloaded from Mobilock Pro. Go ahead, either drag and drop or select the file. Click next. Once you do that, it will complete that and allow you an option to download this token. Click on your server token, it will download this file onto your device. Remember the place where you have downloaded this. You have to upload this back onto the Mobilock Pro dashboard. Now this completes the step at this point of time on the Apple portal. I'll go back and click on Mobilock Pro dashboard. Click on next. Here I'll upload the token file that I just got from Apple. Once I have uploaded it, I'll click on next to complete the setup. If all goes well, we'll pass the token and check the validity of the token and you will clearly see the organization name, the DEP server, the name that you have given in the Apple portal. At this point, there are no devices that you have assigned to mobile lock and hence the number shows zero. We automatically sync with the Apple portal for any new devices that you might have assigned to mobile lock server. You can click on the number of the devices to see the list of device. Here, you can click on sync now to sync a force sync of the Apple devices that you have assigned to Mobilock server. Now let's go ahead and see how to assign a server to Mobilock server. For this, you need to go back to the deploy.apple.com portal. I am at the deploy.apple.com portal. Now here, I had left at the place called manage servers. Now I have a DEP device that I had bought directly from the DEP authorized reseller. I click on manage device. Here you can assign the device using a serial number, an order number or you can upload a CSV file of serial numbers. In this example, I'll show you how to use a serial number and assign it to Mobilock server. I'm entering the serial number here. File. You choose an action, you leave it to assign to server. And from the drop down, choose Mobilock Pro. Click on OK. Now the server has been, the device has been assigned to the server. Now, if you go back to manage servers, you will see that Mobilock Pro has now one devices. Now, as I said, Mobilock Pro syncs every six hours for the new devices that are added. If you want to sync manually, 
then you have to navigate to the DEP section. Click on the total devices count and click on sync now. Once I click on sync now, we will fetch the new devices that have been added. And once you refresh the page, you should see the new devices that we have just added. As you can see, it starts, starts appearing here. At this point, as you can see, the status is not enrolled because I have not hard reset the device or switched on the device for the first time after a hard reset. Remember, if your device is already switched on and is being used as a normal device, then the device will not do anything special. The new settings will only be applied the next time when you hard reset the device. Now, although the device will enroll, you can also configure a device profile or a QR code configuration that should be used when this device is hard reset and restarted. At this step, you can click on choose, select the QR code configuration that you have created. I have created an Apple config configuration. Click on apply. That means when this device is hard reset or the first time it is started after a hard reset, it will contact Mobilox server. It will enroll itself using this configuration that you have just selected. Now, let me go back to the DEP section. Now here you can see the total number of devices that have one. If you click on this, you will see the options that are here. Once you click on DEP again, there are some DEP settings that you can set up. These are the supervisioning set settings that appear on the device when you first boot up the device after a hard reset. When you click on configure device setup settings, here are the options that you can control. You can enforce the MDM enrollment. That means the user or the end user is enforced to enroll into the Mobilog dashboard. They cannot skip it. You can also enforce that the device automatically becomes supervised so that you have enhanced capabilities. You can choose whether the users are allowed to remove the MDM profile on the device. If it is a corporate owned device and you don't want your end users to remove that, go ahead and select enable the remove MDM profile option. You can also choose whether the device is allowed to pair with other Apple computers. It is important that you make this decision properly because a DP device cannot pair with any other computer if you make this to false. Also, you can choose some of the setup experience, like you can choose to skip the passcode, the location, restoring from backup, move from Android option, the option to set up Apple ID and iCloud can be skipped. You can skip the terms and conditions, the Touch ID setup, the Apple Pay setup, the Zoom setup, Siri or Diagnostics Info. You can make a choice here and click on Save. Now, once you select this option, this will be applied to all the devices that are there at this point of time and all the devices that Mobilog detects on every six hour sync. So all the devices that we sync after every six hours will get the DEP settings that you have just given. If you want to go ahead and make changes, you can click on this and make changes. Note that this will be applied only the next time when the device enrolls, that is the next time when the device is hard reset. Until then, the current settings will be persisted on the device. This video kind of explains you on how to set up DEP devices. Hope you have got an idea on how to set up the DEP in the mobile lock, how to assign devices using Apple portal, how to sync the devices using mobile lock dashboard, how to give a default configurations for all your DEP devices and how to set at the device setup options when the device is being started for the first time after a hard reset. Thank you.